Hi, I'm Van with Batting Cages Incorporated. We're standing inside our 35 foot commercial batting cage. This cage is also available in 55 foot lengths and 70 foot lengths. I want to talk to you today about some of the features and benefits of our cage. Some of the things that make, that make it a great cage for your application. Let's start with the framework. If the framework doesn't hold up, the rest of it really doesn't matter, does it? So we're going to give you a frame that's inch and five eighths black powder coated steel. It comes to you in segments so it's easy to put together and if you need to take it down it's easy to store. The layout that we have in this cage is the poles are all about a foot outside the net both sides, end, and top. The reason for that is we want your young person or whoever's hitting in this cage to be safe. When a ball gets hit in the cage It'll never hit a pole solid to create ricochet, to create any kind of an issue. The frame poles go up into welded steel fittings that are very heavy duty, black powder coated also. The way this goes together, you slide the tubes into the fitting and you turn the jam bolt. Very simple, very tough, very durable. Quite frankly, it's kind of like putting together a big Tinker Toy set. Stay with us and look at the video and you'll see how easy it is to put up. Now, can one guy put this up? Sure. But I'll guarantee you, he's not going to be very happy with it. It's a lot of work for one guy. What we would suggest, and you'll see it in the video, is to take two or three of your friends, take an afternoon. You'll have adequate help, be able to help each other, and put it together in a nice, easy, relaxed way, and have a good experience putting it together and hitting in that cage. The first thing that you want to do when you receive one of our commercial batting cages is assemble all the poles. To do that correctly, you need to pull them out of the boxes, look at the instructions, and make sure the right pieces are hooked up with the right pieces. When you do that, you can lay them all out, you can check and make sure you have everything and that you're ready to go. If you do it that way, you'll save yourself a lot of time and a lot of headache down the line. What I'm going to show you now is how to tie the cords and attach them to the poles. Take close note because of all the questions that we get, these represent about probably 60% of them. You take your cord, you double it so you have about six inches from where you've doubled it to the end of the cord. You then tie an overhand knot. Just go over and back through and pull it so you form a loop. Then what you want to do is the same thing on the other end. Six inches, over, and through. So you now have two loops, one on each end. Then what you'll do is come over the pole, pass one loop through the other loop, and let it hang like this. You add the snap clip to the end that comes with your package and it will end up looking like this. And at this point you're ready to hang the cage because this, this clip snaps over the rope on the cage itself. We're doing it here on a ladder because it's way easier to pre-tie these before you sit this thing 12 foot in the air. Save you a lot of time, a lot of headache. The other thing I want to point out is how this three-way works. Please install it so the opened end is parallel with the ground. If you install it so this open end is up and down, it'll still work, but two things are wrong. One, it'll collect moisture from rain. Secondly, the only thing that will keep this from sliding down the pole is the jam bolt, and it's really not designed for that. So again, orient the three-way so the open end is parallel to the ground. 